We will succeed. Um, <laughs> hey, Christina, we how does the um, overcome? We <laughs> Chris, Christina, the, the black anthem, how does that go? Lift every, Lift every voice and sing, sing till light and ring. Ring with the harmony of love. Oh, 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 victory. Let our rejoicing rise. Hides the listening skies. Let us march on till victory is won. Now the real challenge is what's verse two? <laughs> God of our we oh! God of our silence. She turned into the scat man real quick. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what's funny is most people don't know that there is a black anthem. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, I mean, and we all we all know who most of those people are. That's fine. I mean, well, it's still, learn. yeah, they can learn. They I just, learn. like, I, I grew up in, you know, obviously in the black church and yep. we, you know, that was a, a staple and, you know, and, mm -hmm. and just little, little things about black history. Like we used to have every summer when people would have like vacation Bible school and stuff, we would have uh, what's yep. called mahogany brain challenge. And the Ooh. mahogany brain challenge was these, it was, it was a contest of of like black history and stuff like that and so i i was um which i appreciate because it wasn't taught in school so there's a lot of things that that i had to memorize uh that are still stuck in my head today so that's i i, I even though back then i didn't care for it because i was like man all my friends is just at the mall or doing whatever and then, but my mom put me in this little nerdy ass uh mahogany brain challenge shit i was I like man the, ho the homies don't care about this shit <laughs> but i but you know as an as an adult i i appreciate it yeah, so thank yeah. you mom shout out to my mom my oh, favorite my part of church was uh the end uh and i remember <laughs> the song i remember the song we are soldiers in the army we have to fight we have to fight for right. I don't remember the rest from there. I was like, oh, it's time to go. Time to go. Let's do our little merch around. <laughs> time to go. Woo. Let's. Because <laughs> don't forget, it. Sundays is for Simpsons. You know, I need to get home to watch the Simpsons. That's That was the goal. Fair, fair, fair. That was the goal. To this day, I think I've seen, I still watch the Simpsons. I've seen every episode. Yeah. Multiple times, which is uh, maybe the last ten years I've seen those only once or whatever. But yeah, man, I I were, love were, the Simpsons. Were y'all were y'all a? Because you say when the Simpsons, because Simpsons came on in the evening. So were y'all like those late church goers? Man, it's, let me tell you something. I we were we would go early to church, and then we stay for like both services, lunch in between. And then oh, this, we, we had to we had to stop going, and this is when church stopped. When, when I stopped going to church, they fought over hot dogs. They legit <laughs> fought over hot dogs. Somebody pulled out a knife. It got crazy. Oh, out hot dogs! It was the wildest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, and then after shit? that, it was like, okay, we're done with church. And then that was the end of JJ going to Baptist church. And then JJ okay. was supposed to go to Christian church. Then it was fine. It was fine. The guy was actually pretty good. Then he left his wife for a different person. And at the time, a person that the church didn't deem the right gender. And no. um, then his dad took over and it made me fall asleep. 
and oh. then we just start going. And then JJ become Muslim. Yeah. So that's that's, oh, that's how it all goes. JJ becomes Muslim. He had to find faith somehow. Uh, there it is. I'm not okay. Bean pies and Ramadan. What's up? <laughs> Peace be on to you, JJ. Peace be on yeah. to you. Oh, I'll say I've yeah. had a, I, I've had a um, I've had an interesting journey with when it comes to religion. I guess you could say that because I I, um, I went to private school, Catholic private school, my entire life, first yeah. grade all the way through high school. Oh. Um, and actually went to high school with well, Liesel went to my sister's our sister school. I was in an all boys high school. Okay. That's why I'm probably as 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 vile and vulgar as I am. But um, this makes more sense. <laughs> yeah, you're amazing. But me, meanwhile, I lived in two par you know constantly living in two parallel worlds of school and having to learn having to learn Catholicism and and military stuff because it was also a military school. We had to dress in uniform every Wednesday and everything. And wow. then and then my, my you know and then Baptist church life with 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 my family and stuff like that and. Uh, I just kind of yeah, it was, it was interesting. To Were say you in choir? I was, but I didn't enjoy it. And then I ended up uh, on the praise team. We all was on the praise the, team. I love was out there yeah. dance. <laughs> yeah. I, I was in the choir. It. I I played the organ. Um, I did solos. No band for me. I uh, I was an usher. So I was yeah. at the church all day, every yeah. day. So my mom too, my mom was in choir, which by default, my black ass had to just stay there because all the, <laughs> all, the all the church kid, like when, you know, when the parents were there, but that's when we was actually uh, acting an ass. Like yeah. there was some unholy things going on on, on, on holy ground. Um, yeah, because they threw, they like, all the parents were just were sitting there up there in a choir and you just left a bunch of teenagers to do whatever i was that like part. that part everybody yeah. down here ain't saved like that everybody no. down here ain't saved like that. <laughs> oh there was there was a <laughs> no 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 enough for real that was the that was the beginning molding of of justin <laughs> <laughs> terrible <laughs> being you like you jesus. You Thank you, jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh my Oh I God! Will, I still don't know, but you know, I will say, I will say, in adulthood, I because I, I when I moved to California, I really didn't have, I didn't, eh, I wasn't vibing with any. Like I tried, I dabbled and yeah. in, in, and went to a few little churches here and there. Yeah. wasn't vibing with it. So my entire twenties and mid thirties, like just um, it was just a one-on-one -on -one relationship i guess you could say and then i think ju just recently since december started i think i found something i liked and have been doing it every sunday before keiko and so i don't know we'll That's see, nice. we'll see where, nice. where my life journey goes yeah, and, like and you're that. really enjoying it i'm enjoying it I, i'm also still very skeptical just just a lot of like you said i mean see it you know People yeah. knife fighting over over BS and stuff like that. you see you right. see human beings for for who they are. I, I, and so I keep I'm always kind of one foot out the door when it comes to any human man made you know organized religion kind of thing. Yeah, hundred percent. So I enjoy all the happiness, all the you know oh oh it's so wonderful you hear this and that. Okay, great. Uh, I, I just I don't I don't succumb to those kind of like um, like like emotional gestures to where you're yeah, like wow everybody was so nice I guess I'm just gonna go follow everybody off a cliff no 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 no, 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 no. that's how that's how the cults get down yeah and people be like oh we could never yeah oh I, not a I week one never, right here yeah oh no no look baby I've been in a cult <laughs> I, I was in a cult and I barely got out. Um, I was uh, in, uh, at Howard. Yeah, at Howard, uh, I was in this uh, this like spiritual group, and it was a group of you know, it was a group of Christian folks, and and I was like, I was, you know, I was so uh, just being away from my family in school was really really hard, and you of know, course. so you're, you're looking for yeah, community, and community, everything. Community. 
yeah and so um so yeah so i'm i'm going to these meetings and then i'm like hmm i'm like where's where's one of the homies who used to be here they was like oh she got excommunicated i was like uh-oh like like in catholicism <laughs> <laughs> and they that were like, happen. yeah, they were like, yeah, you know, she wore a lot of uh crop tops and revealing shirts and and basically she was like tempting the brothers. And so I was like, huh. <laughs> and then I started to date a cat. Tempting the brothers. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So I, I started to kind of, you know, kind of date somebody and then you know, we were exclusive and they read on his Facebook that um, he was a, a free Islamic thinker. And then they gave okay. me it. They gave me issues about that. They was like, you are supposed to be a good Christian woman connected with a good Christian man. And and I was like, oh, I didn't know y'all was like my Jesus chaperones. I, I didn't know y'all had took the responsibility. <laughs> to get me to heaven but I, at that point i was pretty deep into the cult so then i was like okay well i'll break up with this dude or and so i told Damn. him yeah hey, so, so i i told him i said we'll break up i said and when you know you stop being muslim we can date again and then he tried he was like <laughs> it was crazy it was crazy he said he said that. whoop i guess i'm not muslim no more <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Absolutely. Me and him, and I think about it. I think about it now, and I'm so like, I'm so embarrassed and so like terrified that I was that I was showing up like that. But it was just like the the social structures of the faith yeah. Yeah. became more important, and and pleasing the body, pleasing nope. these individuals became. Nope. I think I learned real quick, real I early. I can differentiate between serving Christ and serving these individuals. These they became like one. So if they were mad at me, God was mad at me. So I so it was like nope. and and so like, but it, but it's wild because I ended up marrying a Muslim. So it just was like the universe was like, oh, you gonna you marry a rebel. Muslim. <laughs> oh, you gonna marry? You gonna marry? You gonna love a Muslim brother? That's what yo. And but, we've yeah, went yeah. through we've went through it before. And let me say, there's some individuals that are punk bitches, and those niggas need to learn. We're past the 10 minute mark, and I can say whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> you say it. You say it. I said it. I said it. I'm the one that said it this time. <laughs> Welcome to Black in Sumo Juneteenth Edition. That's yeah. right. We black y'all. We black y'all. We black y'all. We black and we black y'all. We black y'all. Um, so I do have to say, when I made that video, I was like, okay, I need to like highlight a little bit because at first I was like, man, what? Why do I have like me fighting Justin here? Like we're pretty new. Yeah, neutral. him but beating, one beating my ass. Bounces. And then I was like. But to be completely honest, our first and second match at the SoCal Open was pretty like it went one and one. So I felt like that was fair game. And then I was like, let me add in you just absolutely destroying one of my students. To this day, he still fills yeah. your head. He like <laughs> you he beats you at the SoCal Open, you're like, nah, oh, I, nigga, never I again. <laughs> well, here's a, here's a, I do have to say, I do have to say, like, uh, I think we were downstairs in the dressing room or whatever, and I seen him, and I, and I knew, like, I, like, I was like, I'm going to beat this man, but I, but I had no, but there was no, I didn't have a huge motivation because he was also not 
I don't think he was on my side of the card at the time. I think the, the brackets changed or whatever. Anyways, I said to him, I said, hey, man, good luck. And he looks to me and goes, oh, I don't, uh, he said, uh, he said, I should be uh, something like, I should be saying good luck to you. I don't need luck. And I was like, oh, 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 oh. okay. I was like, gloves okay. off. Gloves off. All right. All right. Okay. You're you going to feel a grown ass man today. You're going to feel a grown ass man today. <laughs> And and I was already fueled by that by, by that first round first round loss to uh to what's his name uh old spider arms um, uh, Josh yes so I was seeing red and I, and he just he just happened to be in the middle of my red zone I was like you're next <laughs> I, was, I was so I was so heated yeah. yeah well anyways I was just like who says this you don't even know me. But anyways, was, I, was, I know you know what it is. A lot of people feel pretty comfortable with us because we put ourselves out there, right? We're constantly fair. talking on podcasts, kind of chatting around, and then when we see each other, especially, it's just like we're immediately talking shit. That's just what we do. We just like right, so right off feel, the bat. They feel like they, ooh, they feel like oh, yeah, I, I can, can hop into this, this. <laughs> and that's not, not that's not how it goes. That's not how it goes. It's like, not. <laughs> you don't know me like, like that. You don't. That's. I never thought that the podcast, like, you know, like, oh, I kind of know this person. I never thought that that would be us, but yeah, it yeah. is kind of us, right? Like, people think they know, but you don't. Yeah. But you don't. Um. So, That's you know, that was. Yeah, man, I've been going back and I've been going through all the different matches because I'm building the um like the breakdown nice clean um 4k videos and i've done nice. i've seen every single match six times including the children i've went through every single Jeez. match and it's absolutely insane and man i'm tired and i'm still pissed at myself i'm still pissed at myself because i wasn't there i don't know what happened i know what happened i was fucking fucking tired and weird and fucking shit and the curse is real I, even is real. even i like your your loss against um jared i was like no like i i, I don't know I, where where it just I, like shut down and i was like yeah. i was like ah jj's like midway through i said there he goes jj's got it and yet then you were just the like, second one especially you said fuck it and then just like threw you back into it <laughs> i was like what i know and then Dude, the second match, the second what? match, my face hit promptly onto like the Tawana. Yeah, like, ow. He, was already, he was already 50% there. He was like, nah, fuck it. Go ahead, throw me out. Dude, ah. dude, like I had a good arm drag. I had one arm pulled across his body and I was like, I'm gonna throw this nigga. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Judo Jake, Judo Jake. Oh man. Yeah, um, yeah. And then, of course, you know, everybody whole, everybody starts been... taking photos and stuff. So I was like, yeah. oh, okay, cool. Like, let's see what's going on. And man, one of our guys got the craziest freaking photo. Let me see if I can pull this out because it is crazy. Uh, actually, you guys talk for a second. I'm going to step away and set this up. Oh, hello. I know. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yes, Hello. <laughs> so just making it making it real weird. Yes. I love it. No, because you are the king. <laughs> You're the king of the after party. I'm weird. I'm there with you. I love it. You can always count on me being your weird hype man. Because I'm here for it. <laughs> I see when I see you, Justin, I see a beautiful mirror. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Wow. 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 Um, okay, so the after party, it was popping. What is your inspiration? How do you put together such amazing unifying events? That's hard. I I like I I like hosting parties. I have been that way since literally, and you can anybody who knows me from high school, bro, I have been I've been hosting parties since high school. I had there was a there yes, there was a click of us. And people are gonna learn some some shit about me today, but there, but anybody from San Antonio knows in the '90s there was the, there was a couple of clicks. 
and oh there was God. like these there was like little pockets all from a different size and i was on the east side oh god damn it oh that was me going oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Non the most the most non-sexual picture I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> that was me hating myself. I'm probably yelling. No. But your son is not like. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 it got better because uh, so that was Mike. Uh, one of our heavyweights that was unable to compete. He was like, oh, cool. Look at this. And he and he shared it. And I was like, okay. And then it was like <laughs> this. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, God. And he then started like zooming in and zooming in on it. I was like, oh, my oh, Lord. That's, oh, sad. that's terrible. That's I terrible. don't need a reminder. Ay, ay, ay. Y'all got a plan for 2025. Y'all need to... Y'all... That's what there it is. we go. Look, the yep. plan, the plan yep. is in place for 2025. And meanwhile, you know, I'm just gonna pray for anybody who's in a competition with y'all, because y'all gonna be trying <laughs> to make sure people don't make it back to their families. And that's not terrifying. Not <laughs> yeah. um, so, speaking of uh, the future, uh, can you talk about the future of sumo? So you did something this last week, and mm. um, you did a tournament but like on a different side and right. Can you speak a so, little bit about it? Also, I suck at acronyms and my like dyslexia mixed with my ADD and my OCD. No, no, no. Will always I was doing the mess same thing. up those letters. So this past weekend, uh, I was the technical commentator for the WCS, which is the world championship sumo it's kind of its own league um kind of lives in a gray area but um they've got a pretty large platform and i wanted to be able to like i was like if i don't do it somebody you know somebody else will kind of thing like and 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 be able and so i would like my thinking going into it and I, you know maybe they watch this maybe they don't but my thinking going into this was you know <sighs> do i use the platform or let the platform use me so and and i and i chose to use the platform for good to be and and i hope a lot of you guys did notice some of the changes like I got the guy like and, and it was in my contract that I I could talk all the shit that I want and make the corrections that I want and they were like yes. Um That's so amazing, you you stopped hearing you stopped hearing the 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 ring announcer say guy OG. I was that was one of the first things I like literally before I signed the contract I was just like that's got to stop. Like I was like yeah. it's Gyoji. Uh, also it was really nice um I didn't see the whole thing, but I definitely saw bits and pieces. And you were able to um, bring in your particular skills, like Kimarites. You're actually yeah. able to say what the Kimarite was, which yeah. was the entire. Fantastic. Yes, the entire yes. production team was like, "Yo, like we've, like I, like they were entertained in the fact that they were learning the Kimarites. Like they, like they were just like." Nobody's ever, ever, you know, been able to actually call out what, you know, what any of the, you know, what any of these wins are. And so they were pulling me aside and oh, just like, Yo, that, that. like, like, I understand why they brought you on. Like, you you know, that was really amazing to, 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 to watch you work. Uh, cause at first, like at first I was get I was a little nervous. Uh, cause I was, mm -hmm. cause I, I, and I will hand it to them. They are a professional, uh, broadcast team mm -hmm. it was it was wild i'm talking like i've never had uh like the production manager in you know in my headset talking about like okay we're you know we're back on and you know we're back on in 10 or you know going we're going to commercial break and i was and i'm sitting here trying to focus and talk and and i got some motherfucker in my ear and i was like yeah oh i was like oh shit this is like real and i mean the whole there was a like it was a real like as if i was at a ufc or or boxing production so i liked that um <coughs> 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 
and I had to get, but I also had to get used to that. Uh, and but then once I once I stopped being intimidated by it, like or like, wow, what's up? Like, and once I just like zoned in and just enjoyed su- the sumo. Mm-hmm. All like I stopped, you know, I stopped kind of saying uh whatever. I, it was just me thinking as if I was as if I was the guy in the ring, and because the dude would would like out of the blue just be like, "Wow, Justin, give us a play by play," and I'd be like, "Oh shit!" Like he would just throw it at me, and, I, <laughs> and I'm like, "Uh, yeah." So uh, that guy right there, but but no, once once I got in the in the zone, like as if I was fighting, you know, I was just like. Well, what you know, what the Mongolian guy needs to do now, it you know, is close the gap and blah 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 blah, and like and yeah. it just start, it just started, it started flowing, um, and my mom, <laughs> my mom texts me. She was she watched that night, and okay. she was watch, she was she was reading the comments and stuff like that, and she loved the fact she was like she screenshotted and showed me, and she was like, people are saying like. Uh, Finally, somebody who knows what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And so that, I mean, and no shade, because that, I mean, that guy, Ben, uh, Ben Davis or whatever, although he does not know the sport, he's like, you know, he's got the, he's got the, the yeah. boxer announcer. It's, it's a different, it's a, it's a different job. It's a different job. Basically, he's Hold doing the job. I couldn't Anik. do his job. The John yeah. Anik is like keeping the momentum at a particular pace, making sure yeah. that you plug in commercials. It's a completely different thing, right? And then the play-by-play or the color commentary is what you were you filtered in as. And exactly. that's the, there's people like to think, oh, basically you're like in the Joe Rogan position yeah or you're yeah. you know more of the sport and the fine details of it and then he does the promotional part they're two yeah. different things it, it is two both. you totally, literally and, and can't I, do both and both are required yeah and i highly again you know people talk shit just only because like m- my side of the coin was missing but <laughs> yeah his side of the coin i like hats off watching him the whole night like i mean on like on point half the shit he said was you know just off the cuff but it was it was sharp as hell it was in the moment and i was just like damn that's an art form in itself like i you know like like if he disappeared and i had to fill in those shoes it probably wouldn't it wouldn't it wouldn't be right so no there there is a purpose for him and there's a purpose for for why they hired me um and it just it was great it was it was great all night yeah uh and i watched a little bit of it oh did anybody have issues with the profanity from mr justin i because you saw what you say no i was really good i was a really good boy i think i had one i had i said one thing but that's because i didn't mute my little button i didn't press a little Uh, button (laughs) i go and because i saw i saw this this uh there was a match and dude got like like got yeeted out of the ring and i just go and i go oh fuck (laughs) they both looked at they both looked at me and was i was like Ah shit! <laughs> <laughs> but we laughed it off, but it was just it was just an instant reaction because I was like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> yeah. So you had your moment where you, you know, you sent me the meme where Joe Rogan's ah. Then you yeah. had your moment. Uh, I had, can you explain I had a couple what that was? I, so I was super hyped, as as most people know. The I think the two main characters of of the wcs their former rikishi you've got a you know um a russian guy named soslan you got another guy uh, an egyptian guy named osonarashi we all know uh and you know i i'll say they're the you know uh, well okay more so osonarashi is the more the uh, outgoing or the 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 attitude, the charisma, the mm-hmm. this and that, everything that the showman you know, is not the showman. Right. He's a showman. He's a he's the heel or whatever you want to call it in wrestling or, anyways. Yeah. 
Uh, so, you know what? He plays a little bit of baby face. He plays a little bit of the baby face, but mostly, mostly heel. And I think he, you know, like you kind of, your inner personality will always kind of guide where you go. He has yeah. characteristics that you kind of love and a bubbleness about him. But but then right. who I think is the real baby face is um, um, Kamal. I think Kamal. Is yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah, the yeah, baby yeah. face. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sandstorm is definitely. Sandstorm's a, like you hate to love him. No. You're just like you know he's gonna win, but you're just like I kind of wish he would lose. And yeah, that was yeah, kind of yeah. that was kind of my thought going into when one of our peoples, because this was heavy with our amateur peoples. Yeah. Like this one more so than any of them. I, I mean, you had guys like you had both Jared Tadlock, Jared Parham. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you had uh, you had Hayden Southall, um, Alex from Florida Sumo, um, Brennan from Florida Sumo. Um, uh, then you had Samoan Bulldozer. Yep. You had Robert. I mean it was a, it was thick. It was a bunch of us there. So it it felt good. Like and it felt a lot more it, it felt like oh and edobar sorry and yep. i was just like yo somebody's gonna snatch this freak like i somebody's gonna snatch this you know this title from from osonarashi so final like like one of the matches where where someone was gonna move on to fight in the in the gold and silver or they were gonna if they lost they were gonna go down to fight for third and that was the match of robert and Osono Rashi. Wow. Robert, and 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 again, I don't know. I I, I kind of want to rewatch the tape. I even talked to Oscar Dolan from uh from New York, and we had a we had a chat about because he was like, What did you think about that whole Dohyo fiasco or whatever? Anyways, so Robert fucking manhandles him, lifts him out of the ring, mm -hmm. but Osono Rashi was holding on to the edge of the Tawada. Yep. And then the Tawada broke. Oh. Now, what is now? But like, what would you if he's already he's on he's not even on the defensive like he's not even really fully defending himself, and he's mm -hmm. on the edge of the Tawada, about to die. Right. What would you call that for? And the Tawada breaks. Sorry. Uh, I I think Robert would have won. I think just it would have been a, a carry out. That in like gun to my head, that's where I would have went. And then I was just like, worst comes the worst of redo. Yeah. Well, What's the and worst okay. comes the worst. And and that's what and that uh, Tori Naoshi is what happened, which everybody was like, yo, what? It is what it is. Um, but it, yes, it, it did. It, it is weird. I I I've always thought there was something, you know, like. Me being a person that does sumo with a doyo, like spent the additional money to buy a doyo, spent yeah. the additional money to get they to water from money. Japan. Like yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. know what how that makes a difference. I yeah. I completely understand, and you need that. You need that yeah. because you don't want that to move. And I I couldn't like from from me at home looking at him like that's not right. And the fact that it did pop off means that it's not right so yeah. that is something that they need to address and i know and and i and it was something i brought up uh right after production had had stopped i i was just like that's that, that wasn't on happen. the on your on your previous like uh like the things that they need to change so i had i had, I had not i had not yes but i had not felt the ring uh, so that okay. so that so you're to, in the to same me, space as me yeah so I needed to if if I was if I was like with them and I actually was you know was feeling the ring out that and if I even felt even once I hit it and I felt a little bit of give that's something I would have probably brought up but I but unfortunately I did not um, <laughs> and nobody else nobody else mentioned it you can't do right. it, it it ended up happening it ended up happening twice so they fought once it became mm -hmm. a Tori Naoshi and then they fought they fought the Tori Naoshi and Osonarashi won. Okay. And it's funny because they beat each other two times, uh -huh. and both both of Robert's times was the exact same win, and both of Osonarashi's was the exact same win. It was very Interesting. weird. Interesting. 
Um, so Osonarashi won by just, I mean, just being quicker and just, and bulldozing through the middle of the body and, and Robert's arm went flailing. So then it was mm-hmm. one to one on the tiebreaker. Osonarashi on the tiebreaker. Osonarashi win. No, how did they end up? They ended up going five times. Somebody. Oh, oh that's it. That's it. Okay. Osonarashi bulldozes uh, Robert, but Robert slides back and hits a Tawada, and it breaks again. Oh, no. On the third oh. match. It breaks again in a different location, so it wasn't just and, one And spot. what did they call that? So, and this is what I respect, because they were like, they basically honored the fact that, you know, if the Tawada broke here, it's got to be Tony Oshie. It's got to be Tony Oshie over here. Okay. So so that third match became a Tony Naoshi. They fought again. And then... Mm. How did Robert win? Robert beat him the, the, the same way twice. They fought five times. Somehow, some kind of mix of things, they fought five right. times. Okay. Because right. it's yeah. what? First to three? Or I'm, I'm a little yeah. confused on best, how it... Best two out of three. If you, win, if you win two straight... And then, um, then, it's, it's and then it's a tie, so then they go again. Okay. Yeah. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. It it really was. Wow. It really was. I was just like, God. Oh, that's how it's five. Yeah. yeah. One. One win. One win. Tony Daoshi. Yep. yep. Uh, then that one should have decided it, but it became a Tony Daoshi. Yep. And then Osonarashi won. Yes. Yep. Okay. Cool. Yep. Yeah. That's, it, that's it, wild. Um, they definitely need to get. Um, they got to get a doyo. They got that get they do. That they do. Yeah. Um, it was it was cool to see. <clears throat> I'd say it was. I'd say it was about seventy percent tickets sold. So you know, there's a sprinkle of empty seats and whatnot. But for the most part, I mean, I would say the majority of the people in there have probably never seen someone in their life. Interesting. Um, and so. I thought that that was, I thought, okay, this is doing something good. You know, if, if anything, um, it's cause they, and people were just like, this is amazing, blah, blah, blah. Like they were asking, you know, the, um, uh, Madison went down and was talking with different people at the, in the audience and people were having a good time. I mean, they were, they were, they were hyped like as if it was a UFC fight. And I felt, I felt like that was a plus. I was a, you okay. know, and so as long as we can kind of like smooth out the edges of, uh, I guess the Tawada professionalism <laughs> in, in sumo oh. and and sumo terminology and all mm-hmm. that other stuff, <clears throat> I can, I think I can stomach the the showboating from from a, a small handful. Yeah, I I also think that so. It, this is where, like, UFC meets WWE meets sumo, right? There's yes. a, a a show, a thing. Like, I was surprised that, uh, what's his name, F.A. didn't do a, a backflip in there. I think he's a little too thick for it right now. I think that's why. Oh, yeah. <laughs> our, our boy our boy is real middleweight now. <laughs> but, like, that's exactly, like, the proper place for him to, like, really like show that right that's yeah that's because you know and like, you know like guys like tadlock you know jared tadlock who come from he he was a he was a, a former pro sumo uh pro wrestler so he's got the the thing the, the charisma and stuff down and i think he did it very tastefully it was very entertaining it gave me it made my job a little easier it gave gave us something to talk about because he was he did it he did it the right way. This is uh, subtle. This is yeah. This is like, honestly, his is more of akin to like how sumo wrestlers do it, right? They right. have their persona, right? That's why yeah. you see Uda and he's right. Or like yeah, old, old a little school, bit of, what's his name? Asakoryu. Who? Yeah. Used, I mean, he was. He yep. used to slap his butt, man. Yep. Woo! Like, let's go. <laughs> Everybody it's, it's, has kind of their thing. Right, Ono yeah. Sato has this thing. You have uh, Salt Bay that would go in there and throw. Like everybody yeah. has their little thing. 
let me tell you something. If they start throwing salt, well, that wouldn't be very yeah. practical. I know. I I'm just it. saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. But like, they got the money. Let's get some play done. Let's do it. Let's go. That would, that, that would be kind of cool. Go. That that would but, be kind of cool. But promotion wise, it's not 15 days. It's only one day event. So I can right. see where that would be an issue. But right. I think there's still like I don't know. Maybe it's maybe they throw chalk in the air, dog. I don't know. It makes it a little <laughs> slippery. Who knows? I don't know. Whatever. Some like LeBron maybe James. they have a guy go around, shh, around. I don't know. I'm just saying. There's like there's you know. Or maybe Whatever. I just want Whatever. goat dust back. Maybe I want goat <laughs> dust. Back. And then Kick you people know in the that. balls. <laughs> <laughs> there was oh, you don't man. Oh, oh, I remember gold dust. Go just all I remember, yeah, all I remember is Rikishi and Mr. Sako because, like, who knows? Yeah, that's just happening. <laughs> I, I well, may or may right? not have attacked her with Mr. Yeah. Sako. He oh, does. Sorry. Sorry. He I'm sorry. like, <laughs> I'm like JJ, please put the Sako. <laughs> Mr. Sako, <laughs> please. <laughs> it's, so, it's so annoying. It's so annoying, Justin. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was bad. Oh, it was bad. That's cute. That's cute. Oh my god. Well, yes. well, I will say I'll keep. I'm gonna keep doing it just because uh, I can see the potential. And uh, when's the next one? August eighth at the Prudential Center in New Jersey. Oh, the there big was supposed one. To be one at, yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be a big one. So that is. I mean, I'm seeing more of Jersey than I care to, but you know, it is what it is. Whoa, what's wrong with Jersey? Yeah, there's no Jersey? problem. That's where, that's where a lot of the big sumo cats are from. Isn't that where Kevin and them are from? Or I Kevin mean, yes. Yeah. Listen. You, you got Rene Monte. You have Kevin Carter. Yeah. Listen, right? don't, don't murder me. Don't murder Manny me. Y'all, bro. You know. Yeah, it's Come on, man. That, Jersey. like, Jersey. all the people that we've spoken to on Black and Sumo <laughs> are in that's Jersey. I know. They about to, they about to whip my ass. Jersey is the black mecca. <laughs> the no. Black mecca. Atlanta. Oh, yeah. Okay. There, there. It's the but black mecca. <laughs> I can say, other than when I stepped out of the Hard Rock Hotel, it was like the Atlantic City. I'll say it like, and let's see. Maybe because I have been, actually, no, I have been to Newark and it was shit back e even then. But like, <laughs> Atlantic City was like a sad ass version. Of, of Las Vegas, you were like, oh, a little bit, a little Aww. bit. It was a little bit sad, 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 sad. I was just like, uh, the only hotel that was that was worth a shit was the Hard Rock Hotel. All the the uh, I walked up, I walked down and looked at the at the valleys. I looked at a couple of other ones and was like, God damn, they did not I, give a fuck about the upkeep on I, that. I think I have like a fond spot just because we ended up sharing a. Uh, a Airbnb with Trent last time we were there, and his oh creepy ass kept following us around. Hey, Jay, Jay, man, <laughs> sometimes you just want to feel like you want to die. Yeah, that's why I jump out of planes. I'm like, dude, what and is then, happening? And then here? me and Jay, me and Jay were making out on the uh, the little what's he called the the, the Ferris wheel. wheel. The and wheel. then you look down and you see Trent looking <laughs> yeah. up into the Ferris. I can just see him just no. hey you know I have it I have it on I love photo. black love I, I, I have a photo I'm like is that Trent and then I zoom Hashtag in black love. And zoom in I'm like jeez then this cycle this cycle is like the most competitive person I've ever met literally I, I can't yeah, 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 I, I've yeah, known yeah. many people we went and got like unlimited crab legs and some other something else right and i'm like yeah. eating and i can eat and he looks yeah. at me and he's like ah and then he starts eating and i get you know like one two three four five like five plates in and i'm like yeah. okay i'm pretty full and he and he's at four and he's like and then he forces down another one i'm like what the fuck is happening here then we start <laughs> walking back and i swear he looks at every every brownie every cookie every every sweet he ends up getting a slice of pizza i'm like dude what the hell is happening <laughs> like 
Like, you don't have any more food. Like, we can't fit anymore. Then he wants to go on a slingshot. I'm like, dude, I'm going to puke and shit out everything during this. Yeah, He's like, no, don't you just want to see idea. if you're going to die? Like, no. <laughs> I'm good. This, are, this is a teenager that's in charge of this fucking slingshot in wow. New Jersey. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. No. No, like, no. no. Probably what's going to happen is the slingshot will fail. I'll end up in the water. Should it kill me? <laughs> it was cold, so I'm gonna freeze to death. <laughs> and then and, and possibly shit yourself. To, oh, definitely shit myself. Shit and throw up everywhere. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have to kill Trent for letting yeah. JJ go on a thing. Now I'm doing murder for killing a white man <laughs> in Jersey. I'm, now I'm in prison for murder. <laughs> <laughs> it'll make it'll make for a fun prison story, you know. Oh my gosh! Yes, I mean, it'll I make for be... a fun story. Oh, okay. Um, this has been a, a great episode of uh, Black and Sumo. Uh, we can talk forever, especially since Justin's out here doing new adventures and changing <laughs> the sumo world for the better. And that's yeah, all I think is. that that's that's our goal. Everybody is trying to like bring in their version of sumo, right? And right now, Justin sees somebody's version, and he's just trying to bring it up to a level that is a little bit closer to the source, right? Yes. It's a little closer to the source. Just and holding it. Right? Look, and Every, a, we're, and we're all kidding. getting there. We're all getting there. So this is a positive for the it's sport, all the athletes, and hopefully in the near future, he can set up a women's division since they got them in compression hey, shorts hey, anyways. Hey. That's all I'm saying. We got world medalists in the United States in the Open Way South Tournament. Let's Come bring on. the women into the dojo and get a real Let's dojo. Go. Put some respect on it. Dojo. Get a real dojo. Get a real dojo. That's, right. That's huge. That's huge. And do yeah. a women's division. Dude. You're telling me you can't have Kellyanne out there kicking the You have I one know. person look, that is a medalist on, on roster. She's already I mean, there. Look, Kellyanne and Fair. then Etan, Etan will choke somebody. That's for good TV, okay? Yes. Etan or will choke yep. and elbow. She'll do. do. <laughs> but, yeah. You don't mess with Etan. Don't do it. Etan. <laughs> I know. A little crazy. Much love, know, crazy ass. No, have a little knife in her door. <laughs> <laughs> Present that I have no weapons. <laughs> what is it? I lied. I got what a titty knife. It? What was it? Who had the uh, you razor? Titty knife. <laughs> Who had the razor underneath their tongue in that one movie? Oh, oh Lord. I don't know. I think it was Fred. It was Fred. I don't know. Star. There, there's, oh, there's a guy on Instagram right now that follows all the sumo people, and he does Wing yeah. Chun and some other stuff. And he was doing some razor under tongue shit, and that's when I was like, Nah. Man, I'm yeah, out. I'm out. Like I, you know, we've had people show up with rocket launchers and shit like that to tournaments. I, uh, I think that this one creeps me out more. This creeps me yeah. out more because that's not yeah. a Texas thing. Can't say that's a no. Texas thing. That's just a crazy thing. Yeah, we got real far on this one. Bye. <laughs> Peace. Happy Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth. Whoa. I found out if I do double thumbs up, I get fired. Bye.